Hi, my name is Isaiah, and I'll be presenting question four from the 2015 Intermediate CAT competition. In this problem, you were given a sequence of numbers, and in order, you will take each number and either start a new list with it or add it to the end of an existing list. However, no two adjacent numbers can have a sum of more than 10. For example, if our given sequence is 5, 6, 5, 3, our final list could be like this, or like this. but not like this, because these two numbers add to more than 10. Your goal is to determine the minimum number of lists you could end up with for this longer sequence. Hopefully you've had a chance to think about the problem, as I will now be presenting the solution. One observation is that it often moves are forced. For example, the first two moves are forced. We have to put down a 5, of course, and then our 6 could not be added to the existing 5, so we have to sum the list. However, sometimes there is more than one possible loop, so this next 5 we could either start a new list or we get added to the existing 5. In this case, adding a new 5 seems worse off, as in this case we only ended up with 2 lists, and by adding and starting a new list we would end up with 3. Can we show that it's always best to add to an existing list when we have the option to? We can. It might seem like creating a new list saves the number it would have covered up for later. This is clearer with this example. If we had some numbers and then a 2, and a list ending in 9, and we add, wanted to add 4 next, we might think, oh, let's start a new list with 4, so we don't have to block up this 2. So maybe this 2 could have some stuff following it later. But instead of doing this, we could have added our 4 in between here, instead of there, and we could have moved all of these numbers down to here. So we still have three lists, and now there's the possibility that we saved a list in case this thing didn't actually exist. So we've shown that if we don't have to start a new list, we shouldn't, because we will not be any worse off by adding to an existing list. This reasoning is quite subtle. To demonstrate that a solution is optimal, we can show that we cannot do strictly better if we deviate from the solution, even if the deviated method might end up doing just as well. For example, if our sequence was 2, 9, 4, 7, then even if we started a new list, we would end up with three lists. And if we did not start a new list, we would still have to add 7 to a new list. Now with this strategy in mind, we can now add our next element to our list. So we have 5 and then 6, and we can add our 3 here. Yeah, sorry, our 5. And now we have a 3 to add, but now we can see we have the option of which one to add it to. Using a similar argument to before, we would rather have all our lists ending in numbers as small as possible, since a lower final number in some list will never leave us worse off. If we replace this 5 with a 3, then we will end up with this list ending in 3 and this ending in 6. If we add a 3 here, then we will have a list ending in 5 and a list ending in 3. And this option is clearly better, because we could do exactly the same things we could do here but more because of this lower number here. So we have reasoned that we should always add a number to the right of the largest number it can be added to if it can be added to any existing list. So we've come up with a full strategy now. Taking our numbers in order, we have 5, 6, 5, we've already gone through that. And now our 3, we'll add it to the largest one. We won't add it here, we'll add it to the largest one. And 6, we can't add it to there, so we have to add it here. And obviously we don't want to start a new list as we went over. Our 5 can't be added there, so we'll add it here. Our 4, we have the choice, but we'll add it to the next to the 6 because it's larger than 5. Our 5, we'll add it here because 5 is larger than 4. 2, we'll add to the larger one. 8, we'll add, we can't add here, so we'll add it here. And our 5, we'll add it here. And we can see that our final answer is that we only need two lists.